This is a very straightforward question. We have a force that is being applied at the end of the spanner here, 200 Newton. We are given the gravitational field strength as 10 Newton per kg. So we want to find out what is the mass. So we use the formula, W is equal to mg. M is equal to W over G. That will be 200 divided by 10, 20 kg. Answer B. Okay, uh, in this question, we are asked to find what is the mass given the density as well as the dimension of the cube. So we can use the formula mass is equal to density multiplied by the volume. The density here is 8 and the volume here it can be calculated using length times breadth times height so it will be 2 times 2 times 2 which is 2 cube. This will give us 64 gram. Answer D. Okay, in this question we have a wheelbarrow that is acted by two forces. One is the weight of 150 Newton, the other one is the applied force F. So the whole thing is pivoted at the wheel here and the weight of 150 Newton is going to cause a clockwise moment and the applied force F is going to cause an anti-clockwise moment. So we can use the principle of moments formula, clockwise moment is equal to anti-clockwise moment. So it will be 150 multiplied by 0 0.75 is equal to F multiplied by the perpendicular distance which is 0 0.75 meter plus 0 0.75 meter that will give us 1.5 meter so f is equal to 150 multiplied by 0 0.75 divided by 1.5 so the answer will be 75 newton a okay we have a man that is walking along a tightrope carrying a long pole so the question is why does he carry the pole Okay, we can use elimination method to approach this question. Okay, let's skip A. Let's go on to option B first. To raise his center of gravity is not right because by raising his center of gravity, it makes him less stable. So uh, there's a higher chance that he will topple. So this is wrong. Okay, uh, to reduce his pressure on the rope, this is not right as well because as he's carrying a pole with him, he actually increased the weight and since pressure is equal to the force, in this case it will be his weight over area. The long pole will add on to his weight, hence the pressure will be higher. So this is not right as well. And to spread out his weight, okay, um, it doesn't really spread out his weight because uh, the weight is still at the center. So this is not right. Okay, um, so that leaves us with option A is to make it easier for him to keep his center of gravity directly above the rope. By carrying the long pole right, he can actually just shift the, the pole to the left or to the right so as to adjust his center of gravity to make sure that it's always on top of the rope. So the answer is A. Okay, this is a recall question. Okay, which quantity is calculated by multiplying the magnitude of a force by the distance moved in the same direction of the force? So this is actually force times distance in the same direction. This is your work done. Answer D.